What's up, guys? It's Joey K.O. here with my brother, Mix Marshall Mike. Yo, yo, yo. Just going to give you guys a little taste of the future. We're going to be talking about what's to come in 2021. We're going to start it off by thank you all the subscribers because when we started out, we had about two subscribers out of nowhere. A lot of you guys been liking, commenting, becoming part of the movement that's here with the Ultimate Fight fans. I'm going to let my brother talk a little bit about what we're going to be doing and what's to come in the near future, really. This is actually a new format. And since me and my brother are in different states currently, we're going to be coming out with different type of content. Skits, fight movie reviews, fight um, um, video reviews. We're going to be coming up with completely different things. I think Joey Kale has a, a, a boxing story, tales of the fight fans concept that he wants to fully develop and push effort to. And I've been encouraging him to do that as he has incredible boxing stories. And it actually, it's shocking he hasn't even told any of you those stories. And I think that's so much content that we could just take simply from that. Which are authentic, real life stories. Absolutely. That I went through and, and seen with my eyes. I definitely want to make an announcement and let everyone know that we're going to also be focusing on a lot more Puerto Rican up and coming fighters. I feel For like sure. a couple of guys uh, like Zayas who deserve some spotlight. He only got about six fights, but he's looking like an absolute beast. Um, we are going to be looking to do another Berlanga video. So we definitely got a lot of that guys. Love. That guy's the truth. That guy's the truth. You know, 16 straight first round knockouts. And when he, if he does number 17, we're going to definitely do a video on him again and just reevaluate what he's done since, which is step up the level of competition. Every time he, I, I notice he keeps stepping up that level of competition. And uh, it's only a matter of time before he gets a big name in there. I'm thinking about uh, uh, Gabriel Rosario. Oh, he, he's, he's definitely been pushing. That, he's that been I'm pushing a lot of work. Because like, you know, Rosario is a real dude. He might not have the prettiest record, but it's because he's been fighting at the highest level with no real amateur experience. He, from the he beginning fought of everybody. Career. He's fought, he fought everybody. everybody. Yeah. He fought everybody. So, and I think he beat um, Daniel Jacobs. That's just my opinion. Um, no, nah, I don't. The fight don't was close. Fight, but he made it. He made it pretty interesting. He made. But it he's proven. He's proven that he's a, he has a chair at the table. You know, he yep. sits at the table of the of the best fighters in the world. He gave his, Triple G divisions. a hell of a fight. He gave the Charlos. No one just scrapes. Like, no one just scrapes him. You know, you can't. It's hard to just be a guy with pure will like Rosario has. And he's actually really skilled for the brawler reputation that he has. He you does know? it all. He's a boxer puncher. So that would be an amazing fight. And if Berlanga could get through him, that's going to open up the door to huge fights. The fun part of, of fighting is to point out future champions. And when you're right and you get to see that flower flourish, it's like, oh man, it's like, it's like your child. Man, I knew that guy, oh, that girl was gonna be a champion. Yeah, and, and it's crazy because huh? we've been both doing that for a long time, but we've never done it on our channel, so. Well, we, we have to prove our credibility. You called out Conor McGregor as a future champion right away. And Stipe Miocic. And Bisping. And Bisping. But Bisping, I've been defending Bisping. Bisping was gonna be a guy I defend forever. I know, I know a champion. I know there's one thing and look this is a guy with no personal fighting experience this is the cool thing we're two opposite spectrums a straight warrior an inexperienced average joe from that perspective it's fun and i think even cooler i think we want to cater to our subscribers and eventually we want you guys to suggest our next videos and we could push what, what some of your ideas are that 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 you want to push on us and we would like to you know push our ideas on them and we could create something really special and that's really the goal that's pretty much it guys stay tuned we got a lot of heat coming for you guys for sure. peace out don't forget to like comment subscribe if you haven't already
Peace.